Okay, I think like a lot of people here, I am really afraid that this administration is dismantling our government, and, it, and I'm scared. <laughs> I'm really scared. <laughs> I know all of us aren't happy with the health care and all that stuff. My question is on guns. Um, I have, and i got to have this, Senate Bill uh, SB 20, 2099. You know, you know what I'm referring to? Okay. Well, what it is, is it's uh, the guns that we own are to be itemized on our 2009 return. Excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me? Well, you're going to be taxed $50. You have to, you might be fingerprinted. And I just feel this is another way that they're chiseling away at us. Pretty soon we won't be able to protect ourselves. So I'd like to know your feeling on this. But just recently this week, I've been watching the Glenn Beck Show on the Fox News Channel. And I was, I was very disturbed to find out that Congress isn't the one that writes these bills and that these bills are being written by a bunch of radical czars that are on President Obama's team. And I would like to know if you're aware of that and if you intend to read the entire bill. I will read that. Going back to the question about who writes these bills, uh, the staff up on the Hill writes these bills. All committees have, what's the, well, <laughs> anyway, the bill, uh, the, the, the staff on the committees put these bills together, and, and they're the ones that bring bring these bills forward, and again, there's, there's, uh, <laughs> well, What's that? Uh, what, I, don't, I don't know what, what involvement the czars had, had with this bill. I do know that the administration, I do know that the president's office did have input on this bill. Now, I don't know whether it's specifically the czars, but I know they were in contact with the committee staffs that wrote this bill. So it was a collective effort. I can tell you with the bills that are written up there, uh, they are written by staff. And this one, there was consultation with the White House as far as how, how the bill was written. The other part is... There are always hidden bills attached to these bills. And my concern is, are you aware of any being attached to this bill? And if so, anything to do with gun control or anything like that, or euthanasia? I'm concerned about those things. Hi. Um, I'm 13, and I briefly read over the um, breakdown of the uh, Obama's health care plan and towards the end I saw an article that was interesting to me any people with um, with items such as diabetes testers and so on, they will put GPS systems in the so diabetes tester. And I just wanted to know your view on that. But uh, a GPS tracking device and any medical device is, is not necessary for any purpose that, that, that I know of. Yeah, it's, it's called a, a National Medical Device Register, so there's be a registry there. Now, whether or not they put a GPS unit in there, I, I don't know if a company's going to do that, but there is, is a registry for it, so. Okay. It, yeah, it's, it, includes, it includes a whole, whole list of medical devices. The registry, I think, is to keep up with who sells those devices, what they're used for, and those sorts of things. I haven't heard of a GPS unit being included in one, but certainly there's no need for, for that to be there. So. Um, my question is um, to ask you, um, Congressman Whitman, if you're aware of two bills that I found out about today that are on the Senate, they're in the Senate. One is that 
President Obama would be given access to our private internet. Now that's Big Brother in 1984. The second one is that anyone who does not have a permit to carry a concealed weapon will not be allowed to own a handgun, and all handguns and all weapons will have to be registered. Again, 1984 and Big Brother.